Hello everybody. Um, so a few months ago, I think it was, Stardusk um, had a sort of vendetta against Sandman. Um, in fact, just this video, uh, Sam, uh, Stardust rather, called Sandman his enemy, <laughs> enemy, which I thought was quite interesting. So the problem for those people who don't know is Stardust basically accuses Sandman of kind of cheapening MGTOW. And I, I kind of agree with him. So just now, in fact, there's a video on YouTube, right, from Sandman. Female bathrooms, MGTO. <laughs> uh, that's another thing. Uh, another joke Sandman had, uh, Stardust rather, had was uh, he would he would make comments, right, or some he would make comments in the low uh, in the comment section and it would always end it with um, a hyphen and then MGTO. Uh so that was pretty funny uh, just to m take a, the mick out of Sandman uh, so basically the problem is Stardust thinks Sandman is basically cheapening the MGTO brand and is isn't really putting much effort into the videos and that MGTO is kind of deteriorating in terms of uh, YouTube uh, knowledge for instance and I kind of agree. So, I mean, just now there's a video called Female Bathrooms Hyphen MGTO. And the first, like, 30 seconds of the video is like uh, someone talking about how, uh, uh, about how it's like some sort of conspiracy for some kind of conspiracy that, uh, something to do with women and uh, something to do with uh, men. Talking in uh, bathrooms. I don't know. It's a, it's such a ridiculous topic to do something on. I mean, I would I would never do a video topic on female frigging bathrooms. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it. I kind of I kind of understand where Stardust is coming from. However, I think Sandman and Stardust are kind of uh, both sides of the same coin. And the, the reason I say this is because. Sandman is obviously kind of a populist. I, I think there's room for a Sandman, and the reason I think that is because he makes videos consistently every single day. Um, it's usually well produced. Um, he has um, his voice, his uh, reading skills are very good. Um, he produces well edited videos basically, and he does it every single day. It's consistent. He gets many views around about four thousand plus maybe. And um, and I think this I think there's a bit of jealousy because of, I think there's a bit of jealousy because of this and maybe um, I think maybe Stardust and uh, what's his name the other guy uh, Barbarossa I think they're both kind of jealous I think I think they kind of think that the leadership is kind of slipping maybe but um, yeah I can understand where Stardust is coming from I really do. However, I think he's a bit harsh, and the reason I say that is because, going back to what I said previously, uh, they are both are opposite sides of the same coin. Now, uh, Sandman is, like I said, his videos aren't particularly all that intellectual, although some of his videos are okay. Um, I think there was one video he did um, on contraception and the male pill or something, and, uh, you know, he, it was quite a well done video. Um, it didn't make me cringe anyway, uh, so that was good. And um, but the opposite side of that, Stardust, is some of his videos aren't easy to get into if you're uh, if you're just getting into into Mikto and trying to see what it's all about. I mean, think about it this way. I remember um, watching a Stardust video, and he the first, that was the very first video, in fact. And he was saying, and he said something on the lines of, "Women don't love men; they never have loved men. Uh, they see men purely as utilities." Now, if you are new to MGTOW, new to Red Pill, and you listen to this, you are going to be defensive, and it's it's not it's a very bitter pill to take. And I that's why I think they're two sides of the same coin, and it's also why I think the criticism of Sandman is a bit too harsh. Yes, some of his videos are cringeworthy. Um, some of his videos aren't particularly all that intellectual. In fact, quite a few of them are. But there is a place for there is a place for Sandman. 
and maybe those people who go through Sandman will go to Stardust, I don't know. Um, but I, I think the criticism is a bit too harsh, and I think the last thing we need to do right now is basically alienate people for not producing pretty good videos. Uh, because the more videos out there, the better. The more people, the more men share this lifestyle, the more widespread it will be. And you can't, you can't sell MGTOW cheaply anyway. Because how can you sell? Uh, how can you sell? It's like selling Jesus cheaply. You, you can't do that. It's, it go your own way. That's it. That's all it is. You can't sell that cheaply. So uh, that's that's my thoughts on the whole Sandman Stardust thing. And the simple fact is, women never loved men. They've always loved what men could do for them. And the modern age has shown that to be even more so the case. Uh, it's even more apparent, obvious, patently obvious, that this is the case. Women do not love men. They do not love men.